if the building itself is actually two buildings, and you could actually argue three buildings with the pool. And so the, the, the dividing line is just on the north side of this hallway. So one of the reasons I came here is there was plans for this building. Gym number one, which is the gym that has the climbing wall in it. I don't know if you've had time to look there. Uh, that, was, that actually is a college-size basketball court. When we built this building, the men's baseball uh, stadium was where the practice football fields were. The longest home run that we are aware of was a, a hit over the hyper building and landed uh, where those in the grass before those red steps. So anyway, so we got the building. It was really a, a pretty good usable building uh, for up until about the probably mid 90s. And then at that point, most of the other schools in the Southwest Conference uh, and then the Big 12 and Big 8, Big 12, and then the, when we went to SEC, had uh, had either built or were built uh, getting ready to build new campus rec buildings. I've been working for University Recreation since 2009. Our building was originally opened in 1984. At that time, it looks very similar to you see what is in the spaces today. In 2003, the space was renovated to make the Donna Axum Fitness Center along with UREC staff offices. And where the current fitness center had sat, which was in the first floor, is where the UREC Outdoor Center currently occupies. And that was part of the renovation as well of 2003.